From the top of Ohlone stands the Deaf Studies Division in Building 6 as they celebrate their 50 year Deaf Pride here in Ohlone. Hello, I am William Wong. I am a Deaf faculty member in the Deaf Studies Division. I teach American Sign Language, but I also teach mathematics to deaf as well as hearing students. Okay, sure. I'm Sandra Ammons. I teach here at Ohlone. Today is a special day to celebrate one of the largest and most comprehensive programs designed to meet the academic and vocational needs of deaf and hard of hearing students. In 1972, George Adel Tweed saw that the difficulties that students were having keeping up with the reading and writing levels in their mainstream courses. George Adel Tweed put some thought to it <clears throat> and decided to establish a class that would not include interpreters, but that would be direct communication from the faculty to the students. Other colleges were not interested in doing something like that, but Ohlone accepted the challenge and welcomed George Adel Tweed to the campus. It is a very important, significant recognition. We're recognizing our community, our language, and our culture, and our people. So who the people are that are carrying on the culture and the language of the deaf community. It's significant. Uh, the college has had deaf programs and services, ongoing support for deaf students. The 50 years of deaf pride means that we have been here on campus for 50 years. And maybe you might think that this is to help deaf people learn, but Really, we have been teaching the college, college-wide too, teaching the campus about us, deaf people and our culture. We are living, walking, breathing examples of deaf culture and of the pride in our history. For their kickoff celebration for the 50-year deaf pride, they opened up a time capsule. I asked our then dean, Ron Burdett, who, by the way, will be here for the keynote this afternoon. I asked him what he thought about it and we should, that perhaps we should do that, and he agreed. So we went into the planning stages of making our own time capsule. We asked for submissions from students then, from George Altweed's wife, because George Altweed was responsible for establishing the Deaf Studies Division and has since passed away. So his wife was there to speak at the time capsule ceremony. Well, the time capsule shows how our world has changed. That the artifacts that we had in the past may be obsolete. Some of them may not be in use anymore. And so it'll be fascinating to see what artifacts are pulled out of the time capsule. With the 50 year mark done, this is just the tip of their success and more to come for the Deaf Studies Division. From Maloney Fremont Campus, this is Andre Devante for Tri-City News.